is Go Geronimo, and today we're going to be doing some more fishing tips and techniques videos, and uh, we're going to be covering the Carolina rig and the Fish Finder rig. We're doing these two together because they're very similar. Both of them have their strong points, and uh, basically, for the Carolina rig, which is right here, we have the line coming from our pole. It's going to go to a swivel, egg weight, pea weight, about 24 inches of leader, and a hook. You're going to need to know the double clinch knot. You can also use the double clinch knot over here from for tying line to hook, uh, or you can snail this hook. Uh, both of those can be found on this video right here. Uh, this video is pretty good for the beginners. It'll show you three different fishing knots that can be used almost any circumstances when you're fishing. Uh, so check that out. And let's show you real quick the fish finder, which is a really cool um, setup as well. The difference between the Carolina rig, the difference between the Carolina rig and the fish finder rig is we removed the P weight. And now we have a cork at the end about two inches away from the hook. This cork's going to need to be buoyant enough to float the bait that you're using. Now, what's cool about this one is you can fish from any depth of the length of your leader. Usually you use about three or four feet worth of leader on this one. And um, by reeling it in, you can bring the hook further down and fish off the bottom or you can float it back out and you can move that whichever depth you want to fish and, and you can find where the fish are feeding. That's why it's called the fish finder. And you're always going to be able to fill the tug on the end because between this float and this weight it keeps your string tight. All right, And so it's sensitive enough to still fear it feel the fish strike. So I'm going to go ahead and go to macro and show you how to make it. Alright, so typically I like to use the smallest uh, swivel I can possibly get away with. These are power swivels. This little size 8 actually does a 50 pound test. Uh, they're pretty cool. But today we're not going to be using one of these. These are really cheap ones. Um, but we need something more like this because it's going to help keep our egg weight in place. The other thing we're going to be using for that is one of these old school or, or freshwater, you know, pea weights where you just clamp them down. Alright, and then we're just going to use whatever hook that you want to, uh, whatever hook that's the correct size for the species of fish you're trying to catch. Uh, typically though, I use one or a two. These are Eagle Claw Laser Sharps. These are size one O's. And the leader, you're going to want a nice fluorocarbon. But this is just a heavy mono so that you can see it better. Okay. First thing you do is take your swivel, make your improved clinch knot, okay. And you're going to go ahead and feed that egg weight through. Now on the other side of the egg weight, we're going to go ahead and clamp this down. And Alright, so on the other side we're going to clamp this down, and that is going to stop the egg weight from moving. Give you 
use my multi-tool. It's always a good idea to have one of those, but if you're paying attention, I'm not making it totally not be able to move. I'm actually giving it a little bit of play, okay? This is perfect. Then, like I said, you can either put an improved clinch knot on this side, or you can snell it. I like snelling mine. And cut off the excess. It's just that simple, folks. Now, on this one, I usually use about a uh, about a twenty-four inch leader. Okay you can actually go ahead and make a three foot leader and use this same exact setup to make what is called a fish finder and I'll show you that in just a second for the fish finder rig we're going to change the length of the leader to about three or four feet uh, and we're going to use the same setup here however we're going to omit this P weight but we're going to add a cork now we're gonna go maybe two inches or so off of the hook and we're going to add the cork the cork needs to be strong enough or big enough to be buoyant enough to hold whatever bait you're using. So you're also going to have to make sure that your cork can float the bait. And that's why this is called a fish finder rig because you can change the height at which you're fishing. So you can fish anywhere from one inch off the ground to three or four feet off the ground, depending on how long. Let's talk about species. Now, for the Carolina rig that I showed you earlier that sits on the bottom, it's for bottom fishing. Uh, big thing you can use it for in saltwater is flounder. Uh, you can also use it for catfish, saltwater, or freshwater, or anything else that actually feeds off the ground. Alright, so this one, the fish finder, it's made for about any, any fish that eats within the three or four feet that you made the leader uh, anywhere in between there. So this is a pretty cool little fishing setup, okay? It's not very inconspicuous, but it, it has its purpose, like I say. A few things that you need to remember on this one, you need to have a big enough swivel to stop the egg weight. Um, you're gonna want, for the fish finder rig, a buoyant enough cork to actually float your bait. You're going to want whatever size hook that works for the species that you're going to be uh, fishing for. So if you're using cat, oh, wanting to go for a big catfish or a big flounder, you want to use a bigger hook. Um, if you're going to be using this fish finder, maybe you should use a medium to smaller hook. And that way you can uh, catch a broader spectrum of fish off of it. Alright everybody, thanks for watching Go Geronimo. This was a tips and techniques video for fishing where we went ahead and went over the Carolina rig and the fish finder rig. Both of them have strong points and have their place in fishing. Um, don't forget to click like, subscribe, share my videos with others, add me to your favorites, 
Find me on GoGeronimo.com. That's the easiest way to find me. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.